today I'm doing a snake skin collar graph because So I started off with some snake skin. I put PVA glue on the inside of the skin. I want to do it on the inside because I want the outside to be the bit that I'm going to color graph. It's a bit like using tissue paper that's all scrunched up. You've got to try and smooth it out as much as you can. I trim around the edge, then I pop down some more glue on the edges and make sure the edges are all glued down tightly. After it dries, I trim the whole thing. Then I give it a couple of coats of shellac. I usually put the shellac on, wait an hour, give it another thin coat, wait an hour, give it about three coats all up. The shellac helps stabilize the very delicate snake skin. Shellac is also resistant to water-based ink and oil-based ink, so it's a magnificent thing to use in printmaking. Now, soaking some cotton paper. I soak the cotton paper for about 10 minutes and then I put it in blotting paper. I usually do this just as I'm about to print because then by the time I've got the ink in the plate it should be just right ready for printing. You want it nice and damp but you don't want it wet. Okay, inking the plate and today I'm using oil based ink. I'm using the chemical company Black Etching Ink and I'm using it with a product called Easy Wipe. When you mix it up it goes all buttery and soft like butter on a warm day. It makes it very easy to wipe over and get into the grooves. This is an Italio process. First I've got to get the ink right into the grooves. I'm using this stuff that looks a bit like cheesecloth. It's tartan. I push down in a circular motion to push the ink into all the grooves. Once I'm happy that every little nook and cranny has a bit of ink down into it, I then use some phone book pages. And you notice I'm using a very flat hand. I don't want to wipe the ink out of the grooves. I want to take the surface ink off. I continue using page after page until I can see the nice, beautiful honey color of the shellac showing through on the plate. And then I try and give the surface a polish. If you can polish it, the highlights are going to be lighter. Now the exciting bit, we're popping it through the press. I put it ink side up, I lay the paper nicely damp, not wet. On top of that, dampening the paper just makes it conform to all the little grooves and that. I put it through the press and under the pressure with the blanket, the blanket helps push down and get all the detail. comes out the other side looking like this. I'm so happy with that. I'm going to use this in a future print. I want to mix and match a few techniques and this is going to be one of them. So look forward to that video.